Now let's see how all this works in the practice. In order to build a reliable tremolo, you will need to work on all the finger combinations like uh, uh, I am I, M A M, I A I. Okay, so all the finger combinations and including your, your thumb too. So the first thing you need to do is I am I plucking. Then every finger combinations. Why do I do it like this? Because uh, we have to increase tempo time to time, but uh, that means extra tension in your hand. And while you play these slower notes, you can release the tension of your hand. You can release all the tension of your hand. So. use much tension for the fast notes uh, you are lucky that's good I also do not use much tension but uh, if this whole thing is pretty new for you then you probably will feel a little tension in your hand and that's why it's good to play slow uh, notes you know yes yeah, slower notes between the fast sequences uh, just play as many fast sequences as, as you wish, as comfortable for you. And after that, play a few slow notes, like one, two, three, four. Okay, and make sure it's, it's really even. That's our goal here. Don't force your fingers to make smaller movements than is comfortable for you because that's, that's also not good, uh, that also means extra tension, but always remember small movements will mean faster tempo in the future, because uh, it takes less time to, to run you know, a smaller circle than a big circle, right? Makes sense. Also, another thing you can notice that tremolo is pretty much like arpeggios on just one string. It's really like arpeggios starting from a finger, but uh, so you can you can work on your tremolo by playing arpeggio exercises too. my hands you can see how how similar the two movements is it's it's basically the same remember I was talking about how you should include your pinky well now's the time we will use rasgado to improve our pinky skills uh, to strengthen our pinky and uh, <clears throat> I won't explain everything about rasgado because it's not the purpose of this video but what you need to know is to place your thumb on the sixth string and you will strike with your fingers one by one the strings like this strike release right after you strike you have to release all the tension of your hand otherwise you will get hurt strike release strike has to be strong and sharp then then uh, release has to has to come immediately after that Okay, so this will be the pattern. Uh, also, pay attention on keeping all the fingers in their position. Try not to, you know, try not to lose the control. Release, 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 release. And uh, if you feel confident enough, you can, you can, uh, you know, make it faster. Also, you can do it on open strings. This is a really good exercise.
size to uh, to build a strong pinky it will really help you but once again just pay attention on releasing the tension because otherwise you will easily get hurt and you really don't want that i hope you enjoyed this course so far and if you do uh, give this video a like and subscribe on the channel that would help me a lot and also please check out my patreon page because uh, patreon helps me to make more videos like this one so consider to support me there thank you so now you have all the basic knowledge in order to play the perfect tremolo or the perfectly controlled tremolo you want so in the next video we will work on that and we will play the actual tremolo finally <laughs> Okay, so see you. See you in the next video.